hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are driving on the melrose hill bypass and this is a part of highway 2000 so let's tell you what's going on okay highway 2000 is a highway that will a toll road that will take you from kingston to montego bay it's being built in sections so the section from kingston to maypen is finished it's up and running very nice road dual carriageway four lanes and then remember the highway is to run from kingston to montego bay it was to premise behind building the highway was to connect both major um, international airports or also the two cities kingston to montego bay so the to continue the journey from kingston to Ma uh, montego bay the May Pen to Mandeville leg is being built, and that's what we're looking at now. So there's this section, which we're going to talk about today, takes you from the Rio Mina Bridge in May Pen or Clarendon to Williams Field in Manchester. And it's going to be a toll road, and it's going to look just like the other highway, four lanes, dual carriageway. So let's go through the alignment of the road now. So from the Rio Mina Bridge, you'll get on the highway from the existing highway. That's where it's going to merge. There is a roundabout there. They'll take out the roundabout. So you'll just drive from where the Maypen Highway ends onto this section of the highway. You won't even know that the highway once ended there because the roundabout will be removed. Then that highway will go down to Clarendon Park where you're going to have a major intersection or major what would you say? Where well, you can get on and off the highway or there it's going to be a major interchange, that's the word. And then from Clarendon Park over to where we are now on the Melrose Hill Bypass, the highway is going to run over the hill. So it's going to come back out to run alongside the main road here in, on the Melrose Hill Bypass. It's actually going to incorporate the Melrose Hill Bypass. So from the Rio Mina Bridge to Clarendon Park it's going to run along the existing roadway to the left of it and highway four lanes dual carriageway running beside the existing road then from Clarendon Park over to where we are now at the Melrose Hill Bypass it's going to take a new alignment or it's not going to run along the existing road it's going to go over the hill and then it comes back out and joins back the existing road here at Melrose Hill Bypass which will then take you into Williamsfield. So that's what's going on here now. But the Melrose Hill Bypass was built a few years ago to bypass Melrose Hill. So you can't really just take a road as important as this and turn it into a toll road. So when you're driving on the section of the Melrose Hill Bypass, you don't have to pay toll. So if you're driving from Poros to Williamsfield, you can use this road and you don't have to pay toll. However, if you're trying to get onto Highway 2000 from this road, you're going to have to pay toll once you get onto Highway 2000. All right, so let's continue the tour. Now, this section of the highway is over 90% complete and it should be finished by March of this year, March 2023. So here you can see the four lanes and they are putting in the concrete barricades. So this highway has opened up. It's going to open up Mandeville to a lot more traffic because you can get there so much easier and a lot of economic benefits. So it's going to come to Mandeville because a lot more persons are going to come there. So you find a lot of construction going on in Mandeville. The municipal corporation is actually trying to upgrade the road infrastructure in Mandeville because they expect a lot more traffic. And also you're going to see a lot of plazas going up, a lot of apartment buildings, a lot of construction is going on in Mandeville because this highway is being built. And the same thing is happening in St. Thomas, Portland, um, Harbour View, because the Southern Coastal Highway is being built along that stretch. So remember now, this Highway 2000 is a toll road. So you're going to have to pay toll to use it. 
but the other highways we spoke about the southern coastal highway and the northern coastal highway you don't have to pay toll to use those highways So straight ahead, if we continue going where that car went, we would go into Williamsfield. Here is where you would normally access the Melrose Hill bypass, but because of the construction, that area, that road is closed to traffic in that direction. Turn left here, you go into Mandeville, and we're going here and going on to the Winston Jones Highway or the Maypen bypass.